Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. So today we are back with our first gift guide, um, starting with a gift guide for her. We then will be doing a gift guide for him, so look out for those as well. But today we're filming a gift guide for her. We're super excited, it is getting us in the Christmas spirit. We hope it gets you guys in the Christmas spirit maybe help you out a little bit and maybe be a little bit more organized. That is what we're trying to do this year. Definitely. And hopefully this video helps you. So if you want to see some of the things that we have chosen to be in our gift guide, then please keep on watching. First thing that of course springs to mind when we think of gifts is perfume. Perfume is probably one of the best gifts to give someone, I think. I absolutely love receiving a nice new perfume. I'm gonna list a couple of my favorites and then Aisha will list a couple of hers. So top five for me would be Molecules, number one, D&G, the one, Eden, Chanel Chance, Dior Dior. My top five are Britney Spears, Fantasy. Good one. Love it. Chanel, Mademoiselle, love it. Dolce & Gabbana, Garden. Dior Poison. Really nice. Good. I'm just going to repeat and say Chanel Chance because that's how much we love it. So good. It is amazing. And one thing about scents, it really does bring memories. So each scent I have really just reminds me of different things. And I love that about perfumes. It really just makes you feel like, ah, remember this? I know. Remember yeah. that? And I think it's a really nice option for a Christmas gift. So moving on to gift sets, that's probably one of my favourite things ever. The one brand that comes to mind when I think of lovely gift sets is Laura Mercier. I find that their gift sets are amazing and their products, especially their body stuff, smell incredible and they literally like linger on your skin all day, like I can always smell it. They also have really nice body sprays as well, bath products, so I highly recommend the Laura Mercier gift sets, Black Friday and also Boxing Day, I know it's afterwards, they always do really good sales, so definitely wait for Black Friday um, because it's so worth it. A set that I haven't personally received that I would love to receive is a Spa gift set, it honestly just calls cozy, relaxed, spa, 100%. that kind of vibe to me and it just, oh it makes me so excited, I would absolutely love to receive a spa gift set this year. <laughs> Is that <laughs> a hint? <laughs> no, honestly, I feel like it'd be pretty much suited to most ages, especially if you're into that kind of relaxing spa kind of cozy yes. vibes. You could also get different sets within the gift sets. You can go for a bath soak set, you can get like a hand wash set, candles um, diffusers, set. candles, yeah. just depending on what the person that you're buying for is interested in, you can go for something like that. The last one that I think we're gonna mention today because honestly our list would be so long is Soap and Glory. Soap and Glory is another one of my absolute faves, I love them. The original scent, the lime scent, and there's another one, I think it's like Sugar Crush, the one I like, and then there's one more, and it smells incredible. I'll leave a picture so you guys can see. I just think Soap and Glory is such a good present, like, especially yes. around Christmas time. They do like massive sets, small sets, and individuals. I just, individual sets, and I just think it's perfect. Even if you wanna just get like an odd few bits, stocking fillers is perfect for that. Mm -hmm. But I just think they're so like luxury, and it's just like, oh my God, Soap and Glory set, just one of my favorites ever. So now we are moving on to candles. Candles is another fave, again, of mine and Zelia's. We do love to receive a candle for Christmas, just generally um, for a gift. It's such a good idea. There are so many different candles you could opt for, um, starting from Yankee Candle, they do the best scents. Zelia has I've actually snow got one. Snowflake. It's called Snowflake Cookie. I don't, I, think, I get it every single year, but I don't think they stock it in the normal ones. It's like from an outlet centre. Is it because, because it's, it's, it's not old? So available. it's like a newer version. I love it so much, but they do have similar ones. And I just think they smell so good, and my house smells like Christmas, no? It really does. I was like, light that candle in the background. Yeah. Let me feel Christmassy. I love this one. Got it my reminds tree up me of Zellia. Well. This, this <laughs> candle reminds me of Zellia. Yeah. This is what I mean with scents. They just 
remind you of things. And it just yeah. It gets me so excited. Oh, yeah, and you've got your Christmas tree right got there. got my Christmas tree up as well. I'll tell you another brand that do really good candles, H&M. H&M, you're right. I got gifted one from my friend for, I think it was Secret Santa. Such a perfect gift idea. Mm -hmm. And I love it so much. And they've actually got a new red one that I really want to get I share. How I'm, like, really fussy with Christmas scents because I don't really like, you know, Strong. the cinnamon scents. Yes. There's a red one, and it's salted caramel, and it smells insane. Wow. I really need to buy it. I think I'm going to treat myself and get it. Because they're so big as well. Um, so I think H&M, perfect for candles. Another option for a candle brand is Neom. I have quite a few Neom candles in my house because, again, they really do smell really nice and fresh. They give off spa vibes. I love oh, anything yeah. that makes me feel like I'm in a spa. It smells beautiful. Um, I will actually link down below the scent in particular that I love because it's just it's amazing. You guys will love it. Yeah. Lastly, the candle brand that I think is absolutely amazing is the White Company. Yes. Also, they're perfect for any other gift as well. It's just, even down to their bag, it just looks luxurious. Like having that it. bag, the White yeah, Company like, bag Ooh. under the tree, just looks nice. You don't need to wrap up exactly. the bag. Exactly, you really don't because it just looks so nice. Their diffusers and their um, candles smell phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I have... I think maybe like three different scents from them. I'll link them down below. They are amazing and they're so long lasting as well. My favorite is Capri. My one is probably the Seychelles one. Yes, yeah, that amazing. smells, oh my God, amazing. You need to go and smell it. Hamper. Hamper is such a good idea for a gift. I think we, we, love, a good old we love doing hampers. We tend to do them quite a lot for friends, family members, because I just think they're so personalised to the person that you're doing it for. So a hamper, a hamper is a really good option. You could tailor it in so many different ways. You could do a spa cosy vibes. You could do like one that Zelia would love where you could put slippers, you could put a dressing gown or a fro, a water bottle. A water bottle, some like chocolate. Chocolates. Um, what else? Face masks. Face masks. Bath soak, stuff like that for somebody. You could do a movie hamper. You could do a gaming hamper. You could do a beauty hamper. Like there's so many different hair hampers. Hair hamper. Hair hamper. Jada would love that. Our little sister would love a hamper full of hair products. Yeah. She loves it. Skincare hamper, candle hamper. Just so many. Okay, so next up we have jewellery. Um, one thing that I did want to mention is me and Asha have the matching bracelets from Astrid and Mew, and I think that is such a good gift idea, mm -hmm. especially if you want to do it with your mum or your sister or your brother or your best, best friend. friend, or like literally you could match it with absolutely anybody, and your you nan. can get yeah your nan. You can personalise them because you can either get little gemstones or you can get letters. Sorry. Um, yeah, you, that's what Sorry. literally <laughs> anybody. <laughs> this is okay. such. This is Sorry. such a perfect gift. Mine's got a P on it for Pia, um, but it's also matching with Aisha. And then hers has got... Mine's got Mila's Moonstone. Yeah. So, and also, I match with Zelia. So it has two beautiful meanings to yeah. both of us. And that's why we love it. Again, it feels kind of like that personalised touch. touch. Yeah, personalisation. One, one massive thing that we would suggest is, like, personalisation. Yeah. It yeah. just means so much more. Yeah, and I just think not only that with this gift, it's always something. It's also something to look forward to afterwards. So you get to go and yeah. experience it and have a fun day out. So mm -hmm. I think that's also yeah. Because you have thing. to go in the store and they like weld it, it onto you. Yeah. yeah. So you could do like rings. A lot of people love to receive rings for Christmas. I see a lot of people receiving like the Dior rings or like the Fendi, yeah. Pandora rings, um, or anywhere that you know that sell rings. You could look out. I think they'll always have and keep as a keepsake. It's a, such a special yeah. kind of gift for somebody. Well, like for example, Ben got me this necklace and it's got an elephant on it. He got it me last Christmas and that was the theme with PR. It just happens, elephants. Mm -hmm. So I just thought, oh my God, that's so cute. So it's now like, this was my last necklace from Ben um, when I was about to have a baby. So it's like that special touch now. I'll always remember like, oh my God, I remember when I was like, oh, I was getting this and Pia wasn't even here. Mm -hmm. So it's just so special and I think it's very sentimental as well, so I think they're perfect. And lastly, a, a watch is a really good idea for somebody as well. So there's so many different options yeah. in the jewellery category, earrings yeah. as well. Um, Especially like with watches, as you said, like if they're into their fitness, you can get one of those Fitbits or an yeah. Apple Watch. Yeah. So fitness fans love to track things, so I think that'd be perfect. Yeah. So next up we have experiences, and this is 
probably one of mine and Aisha's favourites. We yeah. do tend to, we do like to do like a little gift like this um, when we can think of something that's coming up. Perfect time, Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, for example, concerts. I've done a few for Aisha. Um, we've done theatre. Theatre's another really, really good one. Um, one thing that I really want to get done, I've been seeing it online, is face gym. And it's like where you go and get like a massage on your face. And mm -hmm. I think, oh my God, I would love that hint for Christmas. I think that would be a great gift, don't you think? It's like really fun. If you're into like your skin and stuff like mm -hmm. that, that's such a good one. Leads me on to skin, skin like facials, massages, um, skin needling. Nails, toes, yeah. just like a pamper. Eyelashes. Yeah, something like that. So you can do like a mini getaway if it's for like your boyfriend or your girlfriend. That's a cute little one as well. There's something to look forward to. Um, another option that you could always do as well is a voucher. Uh, one thing that me and Zelia do tend to kind of like receiving for Christmas, which I think some people don't like giving because um, they think it looks like you've not made effort. Mm -hmm. And I actually don't think it does. Um, but a gift card or a voucher for something, you could do like a gift card for clothing, um, shops, all right, Boxing Day. Primark. You could do like a subscription for something. I know there's so many different ones you could pick yeah, from. Cinema. Um, yeah, a cinema. Jack Catchley has a prep one, and yeah. it's amazing. We both use it all the time for someone that loves prep coffee. Yeah, or you can do like vouchers for food. Exactly, food vouchers, yeah. cinema vouchers, something like that. So vouchers are not always bad, and there is a long kind of Massive list. 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 And you, when you go to supermarkets. Just have yeah. a look through them. And if you feel like that just seems a bit like... That would be perfect to add that into the hamper. hamper. Yeah, there you, go. you could just add it with some chocolates if yeah. you don't want to make a big yeah. thing. Yeah. So another one that I think is a really good way to end that as well is Foreo. I think Foreo is such an amazing brand. Um, we absolutely love Foreo. If you guys watch our channel, you know um, we used to use their products a lot online because we used to work with them, but we still use them a lot offline. Mm -hmm. Aisha does this and so do I, but we do mini facials with the boys. Yeah. Like literally the other night, I was like, I put spa music on, I was like, right, Ben, lay down. I do it to him, but he never does it back to oh, me. Oh, he does it to me, but it's never as good because I put my, I act, I pretend I'm a therapist. I love like I literally act as if I'm a skin therapist and I'm like, yeah, I and I gave him a it. massage afterwards, I but he did return the favor. Jack gives me a massage, like a massage all the time, but I don't think he feels confident giving me like a facial, which I don't mind. My skin's so sensitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so is mine, like, but like I was just like, oh come on, let's do it because yeah. it's just especially it's the face mask UFO one. Yeah, amazing. It is really. We good. love it. So it warms up. Yeah, I oh. think that's such a luxury gift as well because yeah. you can get so many face masks. Yeah, and for so it's many just different such reasons. A good gift idea. It's Foreo. really good. Foreo, amazing. Our sisters love it as well. Yeah, I literally got one for um, my little sisters, and they use it as well. They love it. It is really good. Footwear is another good option. Yes. Um, we actually tend to buy each other footwear. We do, every year. Every year. Yeah. Some sort of footwear. Yeah, yeah. We've bought trainers for each other. We've bought boots sandals, for each other. We've bought sandals for each other. Heels. Yes, heels. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Every footwear, that every style of footwear. We've done. We have what done. What boot did we do? We did black boots from Zara. You bought me black knee-high boots from Zara. Oh. Do you remember? And you got me black Converse. I did. Um, got each other heels. We got each other heels. I got you trainers. Something that we know we're going to get we, so We know much each other so well as well. So it's yeah. like that's the one section that we know. Let you guys know, we actually do a gift swap. Um, either on Christmas Day, we upload either on Christmas Day or the day after. Yeah. Every single year. So also look back on those videos yeah, oh my God, for Inspo yeah. as well. And also I'll look out them. for this year's. I'll link our um, previous gift, gift swaps, swaps down below. So you guys can see, because I actually watch old gift swaps of other people to get ideas for this one. And I even so, watch our old yeah. gift swaps. So I'm like, oh, I've done that, so I can do yeah. that. That yeah. might be, you know, yeah, yeah, it's really good. That's a really good idea. Watch, I'll leave, I'll leave them in the description so you can watch them. Okay. Makeup is another favourite thing to ask for for Christmas. I think Charlotte Tilbury is probably up there with a great thing to ask for. 100%. Um, so I think what we could do now maybe is if we just run through our favourite products so like our favourite primer, favourite foundation, just real quick 100%. on all over our face. Let's do it really quick so it really doesn't seem long. Yeah. So, so. favourite primer I'm gonna say is Bobby Brown Vitamin C primer. What would you say? I say. Okay. So then we both like the same glow, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, Flawless Filter. Filter. Shade Five. Yes, that's what we use. Amazing. Foundation, I'm gonna say my all time 
favourite foundation at the moment is the Hourglass Stick Foundation. I love it so much. That's what I use a lot now. And it looks lovely on Zelia's skin. Thank you. And for me, it would be the Charlotte Tilbury... Beautiful Skin? I think it's Is it called skin. Beautiful Skin? The new one, you know, with the yeah. pump. The newish one. Yeah. The one that looks like the skin. Yeah. Uh, that looks like the one that I used to wear. Yeah. And then concealer, I'm going to say NARS, but I also like Fit Me. I think they're absolutely amazing colours and brands. Yep, I agree. Same. And then bronzer, I really like MAC Give Me Sun. I also like Refi. I think Refi Tan, which is more of like a creamy, and then MAC Give Me Sun is more of like the powder. And I like MAC Give Me Sun. It's my favourite as well. Yeah. And then I'll say my favourite powder is probably Charlotte Tilbury powder. I also do really like the Laura Mercier, which I use every day. All shades and stuff will be down below yeah. so you guys know as well. Um, yeah, I don't always wear powder. If I wear powder, it is... She ain't a powder girl, I am. Yeah. It's mental. I don't know how she gets away with not looking like a no, literal grease. I do. I yeah, but you grease. don't. I don't think you do. Lush, I'm going to 100% say MAC Peaches. I absolutely love that so much. And Refi... Um, blushes are really good. And also the Iconic London uh, blushes are really nice as well. Yeah. I do really like them, the liquid blushes. And then, of course, lips, our favourite part. I would say our favourite all-time lip liner is stripped down by MAC. 100%. Honestly, the always best. wearing that. Also, NYX London is, is really dream. good. Yeah. It's literally, the, yeah, the best. That's team. what I use today. Yes. NYX London, it literally looks the same as stripped oh, did down. did you use that one? Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. all right. London and Strip Down are my favourite yeah. lip liners. They're really good lip liners. They're what we use every day. And, and then lip, lip glosses. glosses. Fenty lip glosses are mine and Zelia's favourite. Yes. I love Fenty. But I do love a NYX. I'm very into the NYX ones as well. I, I used to be. Yeah, now I, I love still Fenty. am. NYX is so nice, but what I love about Fenty, it's slightly glossier. Yes, lasts it is. longer, and the colour pigment's slightly different. Yeah. And do you know what? It's yeah. not even like the pigment is... Um, more pigmented, because actually I think NYX is. I just, uh, the NYX just feels like, like sticky. Glossy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Don't NYX. hate on the NYX. No, I it's like not. NYX. I love and it. And I still wear, we'll yeah. wear NYX, but with the texture that the Fenty gives me as an after. This does feel great, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't feel like sticky, it feels just nice and glossy, moisturised. NYX doesn't necessarily feel as moisturised and can feel a bit like, hmm, click. Okay. I don't get that, no. I ah, love, I love NYX. I just love I'm Fenty. a NYX girl. Creme brulee all day. That's me. Okay. And Fenty, probably the favourite for me is Fenty, Fenty Glow. Glow. Yeah. But I also love the, um, yeah. the others well, as well. Well, what's the pinky one? Because that's very nice uh, as well. Fussy. Fussy is it's really good too. Yeah. yeah. I need to find all... You know what happens with my lip glosses? Mm. I put them in different bags, different pockets, and then I'm like, where are my lip stuff? Yeah. I need to do like a massive sort out and find them. Yeah. And also another really good lip gloss um, is... Kiko. Oh my god, yeah. We do love a Kiko. Yeah, of course, makeup brushes. I think Morphe and Real Techniques do really, really good makeup brushes. And a new sponge. Why yes. not? Makeup sponge, uh, Real Techniques. Oh yeah. That's the only probably one the only sponge I've ever used. Same. And I have tried the, um, what's the other one that Morphe? everyone uses? No. Oh, um, the other one. The actual one. Yeah. The, the original, I forgot, I know what you mean. I can't remember what it's called, but I don't like yeah, it. I don't either. I like that Real Techniques got a bit more of a sponge. sponge. Yeah, and I agree. Yeah. yeah, it's like the other one's like rock hard. Yeah. I know what you mean. Maybe we're just not doing we're it. We're just used to it. Yeah. Right, we just had to change the angle slightly, slightly just because the lighting is playing with us right now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the last thing that we're actually going to speak about is hair products. One of mine is Elia's probably favourite things as well. I feel like we say one we of us. Say, it's just a lot just, of things yeah, are our favourite. Yeah, I was going to say, we're a lot just of happy things. with everything. Um, hair tools. Hair tools is a really good option for somebody. Um, straighteners you could buy for somebody. Hair curlers, rollers, the Dyson. Everyone loves the Dyson. Mm -hmm. We kind of go through phases. Yes, definitely. I do really like it, and then I'm like, it doesn't work on It me. doesn't last long. So... That's a really good option. Um, I do love the GHD Rise. That's a really nice curling mm. um, tongue as well. Amazing. We love the Remington straighteners, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. I think they're really affordable as well. I think they're about twenty two ninety nine, yeah. and they're the only straighteners me and Zelia use. The only straighteners we swear by. They make your hair so silky, yeah. straight, very sleek looking. Yeah. And they go really nice and hot. <laughs> yes. And it's not necessarily great for your hair. But 
It really does it make works. your hair straight. Yeah, like it it's really good. does work. We tried GHDs and we just we're not a fan. Yeah, to be honest, I've not really given GHD like a massive good go. Oh, but I have. Like, yeah, I haven't. I haven't. So I can't really judge on that. Really? Yeah. I tried Mum's and I just couldn't. And I've tried Emma's, my Mum's and my sisters. I just I was it didn't feel the no, same. Maybe because we're so used, used to it. We've literally been using the Remington ones since we were young, like yeah. really young. We'll leave them linked down below for you guys because they're really good straighteners. Yeah. Okay, so that has brought us to the end of the video. I'm so sorry about the lighting near the end, but we really hope we've given you some inspo and some ideas. If you have any more ideas for us, I'm sure we've missed out some different hair options. extensions. Last one, hair extensions. Fake tan. <laughs> Fake tan, oh my god. This is what I mean, list goes on. We could go on. I'm sure if we could think of more things, we'll have it linked down below. Yes. Everything that we've mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled down there for us to have linked everything for you guys. And like I said, if you think we've missed out anything or yeah, if you've got some know. info, let us know, what should I get Celia for Christmas? DM me. Yeah, and what should I get Aish? DM me as well. <laughs> we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you in our next video. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.